Tonight, UCF's virtual reality treatment for PTSD is taking off. Now they want to open it up to more people. As Fox 35's Nestor Mato found out, the goal is to cut treatment time. And I said, well, I'm really sorry, because I knew she had struggled for about 20 years. And I said, I'm really sorry it took you 20 years to find us. And she said, don't you be sorry. You gave me back the rest of my life. Dr. Deborah Beadle is leading UCF's mission in virtual reality treatment. What's your anxiety level right now on that scale from zero to eight? Seven. For post-traumatic stress disorder. Fox 35 first told you about UCS Restores program in June, but now it's more personalized and more convenient. See rocks everywhere, see a little bit of dust. The more you can recreate those triggers, those cues that create someone's distress, the more likely you are to be able to effective treat their traumatic event. Patients are treated for PTSD using virtual reality images, sounds, and smells coming from special goggles. Now the trial program is looking to cut down the length of treatment. What we found by doing the old treatment where people got 15 days of exposure therapy, what we found is that people were really pretty much done by about 10 days. They are also using new VR technology developed at the university by undergraduate students. What's your anxiety level right now? With it, Dr. Beadle says they can personalize treatment for more than just veterans and first responders, but anyone who's experienced trauma, including the Surfside building collapse in South Florida. This will be our system. It's significantly less expensive. It will cost a therapist about $5,000 compared to the old systems that cost $35,000. Trials for the program are going on now through September of 2022. If you want information on how to be a part of it, go to our website, fox35orlando.com. Nestor Mato, Fox 35 News.